Oh, hi there, everyone. Haven't seen you in a while. A couple of updates um, since the last time we chatted. I got new glasses. But also, I'm still super fat. Yeah, so I'm not really sure where to start this video exactly, so I guess I'll just catch you guys up. So it's been about a year since I made that Facebook video telling everybody that I was really in a bad place and I needed help losing weight and um, and I did pretty well at that for about you know four five maybe six weeks knowing that I had to post a weight loss update video every week really helped to keep me on track and there were a couple of you who were really good about you know just checking in every week giving me exercise tips giving me encouragement telling me about your own stories and eventually life just got kind of crazy I work got really busy we had a baby actually my wife had a baby. I just kind of stood and watched her have a baby. And those of you who are parents know that once you have your second kid, it isn't like twice as difficult. It's like infinity times as difficult. The bottom line, sad truth is I'm back where I started. Actually, I'm back a little bit higher than where I started. I think I started last time at like 380 485 pounds or something and recently I just reached a new high of 387.6 pounds so when I looked at that number it was it was definitely pretty sobering I promised myself I would never get there again and I fell off the wagon and you know what honestly I felt a lot of shame then out of the blue a friend of mine reached out to me on Facebook and uh, he wrote me a message it's kind of a scolding letter it was definitely I felt like I was reading something from my mom he told me that you know he was really impacted by my initial video and that encouraged him and motivated him to start you know taking his health into his own hands and he had lost 30 pounds and and um, and then he felt like I just quit and gave up and you know just kind of left them out to dry so if you're watching Tim thanks for sending that message it was the nudge I needed to get me back on the right track here I am, sharing the most intimate parts of my soul with the internet, so thanks for that. So obviously I've had some time to think long and hard about why I keep struggling with this. Really it all just comes down to living a life that is just completely out of balance. I have a job that I love at a company that is doing really amazing things and I work really hard because I love it there and I love the people that I work with. Um, but I also commute four hours plus to get to work round trip every day. And between that and long hours at the office, I wasn't really leaving myself enough time for family life. And that was taking its toll on me kind of emotionally. And the only way that I knew how to deal with all of that stress was basically to eat mass quantities of pretty much whatever I wanted. My commitment for this year is basically to take some drastic measures to bring more balance into my life and I've got a couple of updates coming a little bit later on with some stuff that I'm doing there. And the second thing really is to be more intentional about just breaking down this really unhealthy relationship I have with food. You know, there have been multiple times over the last few months where I found myself eating, not because I was hungry, but because I just wanted to feel better. And I think the answer for me there is to turn to relationships and experiences that are ultimately a lot more satisfying instead of turning to food for my comfort. And I think the last thing is really just being more intentional about setting concrete goals and not just in the area of weight loss, but in all aspects of my life. I think that's why it was so easy for me to get things so far out of balance because I didn't really have any concrete guidelines to tell me when I was deviating from what was acceptable or when I was in danger of not meeting my goals in a certain area in favor of pursuing another one of my goals. So anyway, after all of that, I guess what I really wanted to tell you guys is that as of today, Project Reboot is starting over again. We are rebooting the reboot. I'm going to be expanding the scope of what we talk about on Project Reboot to include the other two main categories of things that need to be in balance in order for you to really live a complete and full life, and that would be your relationships and your career. So anyway, if you're one of those people that has been following since the beginning and you've been giving your voice of encouragement and liking and subscribing and sending messages and just otherwise coming alongside me, first of all, let me tell you thank you 
Thank you so much for everything that you've done. I promise that your faith and your investment in me won't go to waste. And if you're new and you're just following for the first time, um, welcome. I hope that me bearing my innermost thoughts to a camera lens every now and then helps you out in some way. And finally, if you're watching this video and you and I have the same struggle, or you feel like you've reached a point of no return and you know that it is impacting, every day of the rest of your life and you know that if you don't get it fixed that you won't have many more days in the rest of your life if that's you please please don't be afraid to start start today make a decision right now i know it seems like you've messed up so many times in the past and you can't fathom what's going to make this time different and i know it probably seems like the journey is just too long and you can't envision the day when you've actually achieved your goals. But you know what? You cannot let the enormity of your situation get in the way of you taking action now. Because the longer you wait, the bigger it's gonna get. And with every new day that passes by, you are robbing yourself of the fullness of a life that you could have if you would have just started now. You know what? Scratch that. It's not even about you. You're robbing the world of the person that you could be if you weren't entombed in this coffin of doubt and fear and insecurity. I mean, have you ever really wondered what's underneath all of that baggage? Because I have. And you know what? If you're ready to start, I'll do it with you.